Yes. Do you know who Carolyn Dunham is? No, ma'am, I don't. Uh huh. She was the woman who said that Emmett Till looked at her the wrong way or said something to her. The way you did Jamal Bowman when you were on the steps of the Capitol oh my talking God. about gun violence. You can leave. Why would, would you be quiet, please? I have the right to say what I want to say. I think you're reckless. I think you're reckless. You had no business saying, oh, he's so big. Oh, I feel so like he's going to hurt me. That's the same thing Carolyn Dunham said that got Emmett Till killed, and that was reckless. Whenever truth is uh, spoken to Marjorie Taylor Greene, she can't really do much with it. There's a constituent there, I believe she's at like a town hall event, talking about this previous fight that Marge had with Jamal Bowman. And then because it was a contentious, loud fight that both of them were yelling, she starts talking about how dangerous and intimidating he was towards her. And as you saw, this uh, lady talked about Carolyn Bryant, who was the culprit who accused Emmett Till of similar things, except it was catcalling and he was coming for me. And then therefore, uh, several guys went and murdered the 14 year old kid. But still, uh, if you are uncomfortable with the truth and your, con your contributions to the same things happening over and over again, you respond like this. And you did a reckless thing. And if anything happens to Jamal Bowman, it's going to be on your hands. Well, let me ask you, were you in New York City when he stood outside my car and he came yes. there? No, 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 it's my yes. turn. No, ma'am, it's my turn. And he brought a crowd around me. Were you there? No, you were not in New York City when and that I'm happened. There. It's on video. And it's I'm on video. And you may watch the video. And you can see how he cussed. Ma'am, it's my turn. It's my turn. I listen to you. So that's wrong. This isn't about skin color. And I refuse. I refuse for you to do that. Keeps talking about this tape of him threatening outside the car and cursing her out and calling her all these names. Uh, so this is the tape that we've seen. I, I, again, when it happened, I was like, I'm waiting for her to release this tape of, of the other stuff that she said led up to her saying that uh, someone needs to come and get Jamal Bowman because he's scary. Uh, but this is what we saw at least. No more QAnon, no more madness, no more dead ceiling nonsense. Come on now, save the party, save America, save the children, do something about guns. Right, so close the border. Invest in education. Close the border, save the children. The border is what Trump left. Hey, where are all the kids? Where are all the migrant children? You guys have lost them. We're accepting them. We love them. No, you've lost them. We love the migrant children. We've lost them. We've lost them. You can't find them. What, what are you That's your about? administration. What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant children are missing. You don't know the no, news. No, no, we don't know the news. Oh, you're sadly missing before. Hey, let me tell you Listen, something, Jamal. So apparently that was threatening and angry and violent towards Marjorie Taylor Greene. Maybe not that moment she said something before, but if you're uh, f uh, fear for your life, why are you still in front of this very scary large black man arguing with him? Aren't you running away yet? Or is it you're trying to flip the scales and try and make people think he's dangerous to you? And we know what happens when people think that Burbank. I love that conservatives keep making it seem like New York City is the scariest place on earth. Like, were you there in New York City when Bowman had a crowd of people and they all went around me? It was a camera crew and whoever was in his entourage. We all see that interaction. He's not being violent or threatening or even saying things other than making pretty good substantive points about the problems with the Republican Party. And that's exactly why she's upset because she had nothing to say back. And she knows her power as a white woman is to say, "Oh my God, I'm so scared. There's a big scary black man. And that woman is right to go after her at a later date and say what you did was wrong and it was akin to what Carolyn Dunham did to Emmett Till. That she, is uh, important yeah. because Marjorie Taylor Greene would forget about it otherwise, I think. She asked her, do you know who Carolyn Dunham was? And she goes, no. Uh, so this is an illustration. There's another part about this I want to make sure is, is I say. Um, 
you bring up the historical figures like this, people who were part of this uh, very big, huge moment that happened uh, 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 as black folks were regularly killed like this and then blatantly covered up and allowed the culprits to get away with. It's why Emmett Till's story was so big, 14 year old kid. So if you don't know any of the players in this entire thing, if you don't know what went down, and you're repeating that same history and someone brings that up to you and you've admitted from the beginning, I don't know who the hell you're talking about. Where do you have a leg to stand on to say that they're completely wrong? And as we know, I don't have time to run it, but the rest of that crowd as they led them, they led chants and said, sit down, you can get out of here. Now you heard some of the people start heckling her. That's the response. It's a micro illustration of the way this type of thing is spreading and it always kind of has been in this country. If someone says something that's uncomfortable for you because you're on the wrong side of it, it's shut them down, be quiet because we're the more powerful group here. How dare you act like you have a right to say something different to me, black woman. Calm down and shut up. What you said is obviously not right because you said it. That's the only basis for it. Because if you look into it, she's absolutely right.